Hey, what's up guys? So today we are comparing the Philips BT50B, which was a very popular speaker quite some time back and the very, very popular and very impressive Pertronix sound drum. So these more or less have the same form factor, although the sound drum is definitely bigger. So let's compare the size. Yes, definitely bigger, definitely thicker. I mean, this literally fits on top. I mean, it's almost the size of the base radiator here. So it fits. So yeah, really tiny, but one of the lightest, I don't know even if it's 100 grams. Well, this is over 200 grams or so. So two very popular Bluetooth speakers. This, the Philips BT50 has been out there for a while and has, and has been a pretty popular speaker and has had decent sound. But today it's time to, you know, pit it against the very famous Protronic sound drum and see how it compares. So first, let's talk about the Philips BT50. So small form factor. It has just one driver here, which produces all the sound. It's got a rubbery body. So this has been with me for a while. As you can see, it's got some marks on it and it's quite dusty as well. I haven't used this for a while. Pretty basic functionality. So it's got an LED right here, as you can see. It's got long press and that's off. It's got audio in. So if you want, it's got an audio port, an aux port, sorry, right here. And micro USB for charging. It's pretty basic stuff. This is for, this is the pairing button, but guys, because it, it's been out there a while and it was one of the few speakers which was out there at this budget during its time. This has got one major disadvantage and that is you cannot take calls with this. So when your call comes, you will have to take it through your phone. There is no way to answer calls through this. So that's a major downside. Apart from that, it is a two watt speaker. So that's pretty low on that spectrum. I mean, in comparison, the sound drum from Portronix is a 10 watt speaker. So it's the sound drum is five times louder than the Philips, but we'll do a sound test and see how it compares anyway. So basic functionality, very light, super portable, uh, decent sound as per my experience. But today we're going to do a honest and spontaneous sound test and give you my opinion. The price bracket for this is it's below 1300 bucks. So it's right there with a very affordable uh, the range of speakers but right now guys for 1300 bucks you can get many other bluetooth speakers which are much 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 better than the philips bt50b but we'll come to that later so we switched it on and uh, yeah this is it no waterproof uh, it's not water resistant or waterproof uh, it's got no IPX rating at all. So anything near water is going to damage this, but you can take a wet, a wet cloth and wipe it to clean it. But no water at all should get into this area right here that will seriously damage the driver. Okay. And on this side, we have the Pertronic sound drum, which is in my opinion, still a phenomenal speaker. It's, it's got a 10 watt output. It's got a really high quality fabric body. It's IPX5 certified, so no problem near water, splashes of water, even water port on this area will do no damage to it. Light rain, no problem. Dust resistant as well. You've got your basic buttons here, the power button, volume up, track change button, play, pause, answering and ending calls with this, volume down and previous track button right here. Very tactile and clicky buttons right here. It's got two drivers inside while a base radiator on the top and you get a 360 degree sound experience same as the Philips BT50B. That's about it on the side. This is where it definitely beats the BT50B of Philips in terms of the features. You have a USB port to plug in your pen drive and listen to songs. You get an aux port same as this to plug in from a non Bluetooth device and a micro USB port for charging and you have inbuilt FM which you do not have with the Philips BT50B. 
so that is a very good and nifty addition having built in fm is really really good so if you want to know how to tune the fm i leave a link of the video where i explain how to auto tune your fm channels and once you do that you don't have to do it again so it's going to be set for good that video the link to that video is in the description below do check it out so right now let's do a sound test again let me remind you guys 10 watt speaker 2 watt speaker features with usb port inbuilt fm no usb port no inbuilt fm you can take calls with this you cannot take calls with this water resistance no water resistance so i think everything goes in favor of the potronic sound drum but i bought this for 1795 at the time right now the price has increased over 2000 nearing 2200 because it's got an mrp of 2499 so the price is going to fluctuate but i would suggest get it for wait and get it for below 2000 if you want to get this because i would always always recommend this in that price bracket but if your budget is really low and if you want something that is super light less than 100 grams then you can go for this but there are many many better options out there if you do a bit of research or if you want to know you can let me know in the comments below and i will let you know of other speakers which are better in this price range all right lots of talking done let us compare this so this is already on i'm going to turn sound drum on power on bluetooth mode okay so sound drum device paired great and i think i have to scan this because i have not paired this yet it should come up here okay Let's scan it again It's taking a while. This seems to be blinking. No devices found. That's strange. Um, no, it's not even linked. So let's do another scan. Okay, there we go. I think you have to press this. So my mistake, guys. Should be paired. Okay, we are paired to both. Let's just check the sound source. It's with the Philips PT50. So let me see. Okay, it's full. It at, it's at full volume from my phone. And uh, as I'm seeing, there is no way to increase volume as well from this. Nor is there any button to change track. So okay, very very basic. Everything needs to be changed. from your device okay let's go into music do with this
Okay. It's been a while since I've charged this and ever since I've got it guys, this is the first time it's told me that battery is low. So that's how good the battery capacity is. So, okay, let me just give you right off the bat my, uh, my reaction to the sound. I mean, there is just no need for you to even consider the Philips BT50. I know there are other Bluetooth speakers from Philips which are of more fair comparison to the Putronic sound drum. But since these kind of had the same form factor, I wanted to compare this, but do not consider the speaker by any means. I mean, hands down, pay the extra bucks and get the Putronic sound drum. The bass, the volume, the clarity, the battery backup, the facility, the IPX rating, everything goes in favor of the Potronic sound drum. So everything good about this guys, and I cannot say anything good about this, there is no bass. It's a two watt speaker, so it's really low sound unless the speaker is here and your head is right where the phone is, or you have it like this and otherwise, I mean, it's, it's really stupid for you to get this speaker right now when there are so much, so many better speakers out there in the same price bracket or lower. So it's come a long way. So do not consider buying this guys. I do not recommend this at all. I recommend the Potronic sound drum by all means. But since the price has been steadily, steadily increasing for the Potronic sound drum, I suggest you wait it out. And uh, you know, if you're buying it from Amazon, the link to which is in the description below. Uh, you can check out the latest price, but I would suggest don't pay anything over 2000 bucks for this. You know, 1700, I mean, 1800 to 2000 bucks is fine for this speaker. It's worth it. But anything above that, uh, I would suggest you wait because the price is definitely going to come down. But this is the ultimate speaker in this price range, guys. I love it. Okay, maybe in the future I will get a few JBL products and compare it with this. I've been getting a number of comments telling me to compare it with the JBL Flip 4 and the Charge or whatever. I haven't used a JBL product, so I will have to do comparison in due time. I will do that. For this episode, the sound drum hands down wins. Links to this, I'm not going to leave a link to this, guys, but okay, fine. If you want, there's a link to this as well in the description below, but I would suggest don't get this, get this. All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, if this was helpful or entertaining, give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. I will love you guys nonetheless. Subscribe to PRCast9 today so that you never miss another video. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.